Welcome to Hearts of Fire, parish-based programs from the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. We begin our program with the first part of Stage 1, the 33 Days to Morning Glory Retreat. We continue our retreat with Session 5, St. John Paul II, with our presenter, Father Michael Gately. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed John Paul II, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, welcome back. I hope you had a good week with Blessed John Paul II, and we're able to ponder it and, and re do the readings. Uh, Blessed John Paul II is our last of the saints and blesseds that we're gonna be covering for our retreat. So, uh, and in some ways, we've saved the best for last. And the reason I say that is because Blessed John Paul II was a Pope. So his teaching is very authoritative. But not only is it authoritative because he was the Pope, but his teaching, as we read, follows an ecumenical council, the Second Vatican Council. Not only that, he's a recent blessed, uh, the most recent of, of all of our saints and blesseds, and the council was also the most recent. So he's kind of the most up-to-date teaching on Marian consecration with John Paul II. The most authoritative, the most up-to-date in many ways. It's also the most scriptural, I think, of, of uh, the teachings on Marian consecration. and. Um, it's some ways I also think it's the most profound. So we've got a really power-packed person, a Marian giant in John Paul II. So I hope you enjoyed the reading and the pondering. Now to prepare, your, to prepare ourselves for the discussion period, uh, let's, let's uh, go over a couple of the points just to review um, from what we read. First, the first point I'd like to make is the two bookends of the chapter. Uh, the two bookends were basically dealt with two themes. Mary and mercy. Remember, those two themes are so important to, to Blessed John Paul II, right? He was the, the totus tuus pope. His papal motto, totus tuus, meant totally yours, and it referred to Mary. So it's just his papal motto was very Marian. But also, he was, they all, he's also known as the great mercy pope. And, uh, and those two themes come out really big in this chapter. Also, the second point is that John Paul, uh, drawing from the Second Vatican Council, brings up that term maternal mediation. In other words, that Mary is our mother in the order of grace. Mary is our spiritual mother. And John Paul II takes that theme from the council or that teaching of the Second Vatican Council and then he uses it in his own teaching on Mary. Uh, so it's, it's really beautiful explication of what's given in the council. Um, and part of how he does that develop or that, that exposition of the council's teaching on Mary being our spiritual mother comes from the part of the retreat we read about Mary's own retreat uh, or the way John Paul II calls it Mary's pilgrimage of faith and is in, in his encyclical letter Redemptoris Mater, uh, Mother of the Redeemer, he traces that pilgrimage of faith that Mary made and that was a pilgrimage of faith where she came to gradually understand and accept her vocation as our spiritual mother. because She started out as the mother of Jesus, and then she becomes the mother of all Christians. And it took Mary some time to sort of get to know that vocation. It starts with the Annunciation. It goes with the birth of Jesus and his hidden life as she's pondering over all of the things that Jesus is doing and saying in his public ministry. And then what he says and does on the cross, she's pondering in her heart and coming to know her vocation as our spiritual mother. So that's a beautiful theme uh, for Blessed John Paul II, draw, taking from the council and, and putting it forward in a way that's, that's incredibly beautiful. It helps us to understand it as well. And then finally, there's uh, John Paul II's amazing teaching on Marian consecration itself, which he often calls Marian entrustment. And he has a unique take on Marian consecration where he speaks about um, we entrust ourselves to Mary and she brings us into Jesus Christ's own self-consecration of himself to the Father. 
So that's a, it's some very deep theology there, but he even develops the theology of Marian consecration, where we entrust ourselves to Mary, and she brings us into the self-consecration of Jesus Christ. So uh, some really powerful, uh, this is a very meaty section, so hopefully uh, you're able to, to draw some of, the, some of the gems out in your discussion, and uh, may the Holy Spirit be with you, fill you with his wisdom and knowledge and a great love for Marian consecration, and uh, now have a, have a good time in your small groups. May God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.